Brought to you by GatewayCitySavers.com. Introducing the Ice Report with Tom Casey, exclusively on 101ESPN.com. Tom Casey back with another edition of the online Ice Report right here on 101ESPN.com. Less than nine weeks to go in the regular season. It's no secret. The Blues have an uphill climb to try to get into one of the top eight playoff spots in the Western Conference, potential playoff spots. And what they'll have to do in part to get there is to have incredible goaltending. And let's face it, for all of the accolades and all of the hype behind Yaroslav Halak before this season started, I won't go as far as some will to say he's been bad, but he hasn't been great. He hasn't been very good. He's been a good goaltender. He's getting a lot of work uh, more than he's used to this deep into a season uh, with there still being some season left. Halak, uh, as we tape, is getting very, very close to his career-high 45 appearances uh, in the league. And if you count overtime losses, his record is sub-500, save percentage. At last check, just 9.07. Uh, that just barely cracks the top 30 in the league. His wins, 17 at last check. Uh, just barely in the top 20, and his goals against average over two and a half, basically right on the outside of the top 20 in the NHL. That is not what the Blues were looking for when they acquired him from Montreal, and not the guy that we saw play in the playoffs for the Montreal Canadiens. But one thing you have to remember about the lock, uh, he's 25 years of age, and no goaltenders don't develop as slowly as defensemen, but they still aren't going to peak at the age of 25. At least you wouldn't think so. You hope that what we saw last year in the playoffs from Halak is not the very best uh, that he can offer and deliver. Let's look at the future of the Blues goaltending situation. Behind him is Ty Conklin. Ty Conklin's a veteran who will turn 35 next month. Like Halak, although he's had a lot less work, uh, his win-loss, if you count losses beyond regulation, is also under 500, and Conklin has gotten less work uh, than he did last year. Now, after the All-Star break, he did have an encouraging outing or two. His future is very uncertain. He's making $1.3 million in the second of a two-year contract. Uh, he'll be a free agent at the end of the year. It would surprise nobody if the Blues uh, let Conklin uh, just roam the market and pretty much end somewhere else. It's also possible that the Blues could deal Conklin before the February 28th and 2 p.m. deadline, uh, trade deadline in the National Hockey League. Somebody like maybe his old team, the Detroit Red Wings. Somebody looking for somebody with experience and ignoring uh, the subpar numbers this season could be interested in Halak, and if the Blues could simply get just a draft pick of any kind for him, they might be looking to make a move like that. So moving forward, that's what the Blues goaltending situation looks like. And again, with fewer than 30 games left on the regular season schedule, it's going to be imperative for Halak to be amazing. The team as a whole is probably going to need a win streak significant, uh, maybe of seven or more games to get in. That is your latest online ice report, TPC on 101ESPN.com.